Run! They're after us! Ah! Hi everyone, welcome back to another Scotty Karate video. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important parts of fighting, martial arts, anything. And that's... Don't be emotional, you weirdo. Emotions. Who needs them, right, fellas? My feels. Well, the reality is, is when you're in a fight, you don't have the luxury of having your feels up in a twist or dealing with them. You have to deal with the situation at hand. So, what does that mean to you? Well, that means you need to train. Plain and simple, if you're in a fight, your adrenaline dumps, most people, this thing turns off and they go into primal, you know, lizard brain. They're just like, ah, I gotta run. Ah, I gotta fight. What just happened? I'll just stand here and let him punch me in the face. Like, you have to pick something, right? You have to keep your emotions out of it. You have to get into the fight, do what you gotta do. So that's how you want to play it, old man? No dessert? Oh, sure. We'll eat our dinner right after you eat this. Ah! Now, I can't even tell you how many times I've heard this, and I know you have too. Man, you don't want to get me mad, because when I get mad, everything turns red and people get hurt. <laughs> that's not how life works. Reality is, is you get mad and you act like a charging bull. I'm not scared of you. Just like Johnny Lawrence, I'm just going to whoop. Bye bye. So I know what you think. Getting mad helps. Get you pumped up. Get you energized. Get you into it. Not, not necessarily false, but it's not true either. So, reality is, is if you don't know how to control your emotions, at least to a degree, to stay clear-headed enough to understand what you're doing in the fight, you're going to put yourself at risk, not the other person. This is the most common thing I hear all the time is, you know, like, I'll hurt them when I get mad. No, you won't. Because reality is, unless you just happen to sucker punch them and magically win in the knockout, they're going to fight back. And then you're blinded going, Rah! and they're just going to go, and like a tree. You can't do that. You have to stay clear-minded. You have to understand your goals. If your goal is to not fight, get out of the fight, get your family out, you know, keep, keep the pedestrians inside, say, the bar from getting hit, you need to maintain control and stay in control of yourself. So if you can't control you, how are you going to help control the situation? Calm down, now get back to your seat. I'll take care of this. Calm down. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. These are all things that happen and all things that make people go blah, 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 and then they do something stupid. Don't be that guy. You have to think about it. So this is where training comes in. So if you're sparring, for example, and you get that adrenaline dump because the other person's punching at your face and you check out, that's a problem. But the beautiful part is if you have someone punching at your face and you've had that adrenaline dump a hundred times, you now have more of an understanding how to control that, how to, how to at least stay in control in the pocket of the fight, as it were. So you need to train, need to practice, need to understand what the situation is and your goals in the situation. A man can't see, he can't fight. You hit him square in the nose, he'd be blinded by his tears and choke on his own blood. That's right, you're going to run. Get out of here. Having a pumped up chest isn't going to help much if the other person knows what they're doing and puts you on your butt. Maintain control at all times. All times. You're at home, maintain control. You're taking a poop, maintain control. No excuses. Hey, partner, come on, you gotta relax. Don't force it. Get a blow out your O-ring. Drop a lung. Who does number two work for? That's right, buddy. You show that turd who's boss. Things are simple when you break them down into basics. Stay in control. Maintain your composure. Understand what your goals are. Don't get caught in the ego. Don't get caught in your feels. At the end of the day, you can break when you get home. You get home, 
You want to cry, you want to scream, you want to yell, you want to, you know, curse out, you know, the person that was, you know, messing with you, trying to fight you, trying to insult you. You want to go outside and hit the bag. You want to cause some pain to your, your bag to put his face on it. Yeah, stupid Kyle. Anyway, this is what you do, but you can't do it in a situation. You have to stay in control because if you don't, you can get hurt. Or if you're trying to help protect people or help people, they can get hurt. So stay in control. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell in the corner so you know my videos are posted each week. And as always, the more you train, easier to fight.